Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi unveiled a massive coronavirus relief bill on Tuesday, the fifth proposed legislation related to the economic fallout from the pandemic. The House is expected to vote on the $3 trillion proposal today and most likely pass in the House, although it is considered by many to be dead on arrival in the Senate. The bill, which spans more than 1,800 pages, is known as the Health and Economic Recovery Omnibus Emergency Solutions Act, or the HEROES Act. Here's a rundown of some of the bill's highlights. The bill would establish a $200 billion HEROES Fund to ensure that essential workers receive hazard pay. Their employers would be able to apply for grants to provide $13 per hour premium pay for their workers on top of regular wages. These employers would be eligible for grants of $10,000 per worker or $5,000 for highly compensated essential workers. Another provision of the bill would appropriate $850 million for states to provide child and family care for essential workers. The bill would also provide funding for personal protective equipment for emergency health care and essential workers. It would implement a second round of direct payments to Americans to assist with the fallout of the pandemic. It would provide $1,200 to every family member, including children, up to $6,000 per household. Free coronavirus testing for all Americans is also in the bill and calls for an additional $75 billion for coronavirus testing, contact tracing, and isolation measures. State governments would receive $500 billion in direct assistance to counter the fiscal impacts of the pandemic, $375 billion to assist local governments, $20 billion to tribal governments, and $20 billion to U.S. territories. The proposal also contains protection to renters and homeowners from evictions and foreclosures, extension of unemployment benefits, forgiveness of student loan debt, assistance to farmers and U.S. Postal Service, and election security. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.